Ever since our first Pixel five years ago, the Pixel camera has set the bar and reshaped the industry. Our leadership in computational photography and machine learning have led to some remarkable camera capabilities over the years and have let Pixel users take some extraordinary pictures, even when we've used ordinary camera components. With Pixel 6, we're applying all that software expertise to a fully upgraded camera system for the most advanced smartphone camera in the world. It's leagues ahead of our previous Pixel cameras, from the hardware to the software to the computational photography. For starters, let's take a look at the main camera. Both Pixel 6 and 6 Pro have a massive new 1 over 1.3 inch 50 megapixel sensor. We combine adjacent pixels on the sensor to get extra large 2.4 micron pixels. With night sight, the Pixel camera has always been able to do a lot with very little light. But now the primary sensor captures up to two and a half times as much light thanks to those huge pixels. This means you're gonna get photos with even greater detail and richer color. Both phones also have completely new ultra-wide cameras with larger sensors than before, so photos look great when you want to fit more in your shot. Pixel 6 Pro has a larger ultra-wide front camera that records 4K video. It also has a telephoto lens with 4x optical zoom for getting in close. That's not easy to fit in a phone without making it super thick. To get that much magnification, the Pixel camera uses what's called folded optics. A flawless prism bends the light 90 degrees so that the camera can fit in the body of the phone and you can get up to 20x zoom with an improved version of Pixel's Super Res Zoom, our advanced computational approach to combining optical and digital zoom. Finally, the sensor behind the telephoto lens is even larger than the primary rear sensor in past Pixel phones, so you can capture great low-light zoom shots with Night Sight. When this amazing hardware is paired with Tensor, we can build new camera features that were impossible before. Video is a great example. Video is a hard use case for computational photography because you're basically taking lots of photos very quickly. Applying a machine learning algorithm to a single photo is very different than running the same algorithm for each frame 60 times per second. We've always dreamed of getting Pixel's video quality up to the signature photo quality, but it wasn't possible. The processor just wouldn't be able to keep up. So we spent years on this problem and have made a lot of progress. We started by developing more efficient methods for applying tone mapping edits very quickly and doing everything we could to get the most out of the sensor. We also developed an algorithm called HDRNet, which could deliver the signature pixel look much more efficiently. With Tensor, we're able to embed parts of HDRNet directly into the ISP and accelerate it to make the process faster and more efficient. With this system, Pixel 6 can now run HDRNet on 4K video at 60 frames per second. That's 498 million pixels each second. And this is what Pixel 6 video looks like. You can see what a huge improvement this is. The color accuracy is excellent, with a big boost to the vividness, the stabilization, and overall video quality. This is all thanks to the bigger camera sensors, Google's cutting-edge machine learning, and the efficiency gains from the new Tensor chip. It's a giant step forward. Have you ever had a perfect photo ruined by something random in the background? Let's say you want to be the only one on the beach in your photos. If you don't have access to a deserted island or don't want to spend hours in a photo editing suite, Pixel's new Magic Eraser can do the job. In Google Photos, you'll see suggestions for distractions you might want to remove from your photo. Erase them all at once or tap to remove them one by one. What really sets this feature apart is how we're able to figure out what you're trying to remove and how well we can fill what's in its place. Even if something is not suggested, you can still erase that distraction. Just circle them and they disappear. And you can use Magic Eraser on Pixel to clean up all your photos, whether you took them a minute ago or years ago. Here's Hollywood production designer Hannah Beekler to show you what's possible with Magic Eraser. Hey, Hannah Beekler, production designer and world builder, working on Black Panther 2, Wakanda Forever. I oftentimes consider myself a story designer and I'm designing towards moods okay. and tones. I love this building. I have to go back to my dad. We would drive around and we would just make up fantasy places. I can just remember seeing everything that he would say. Yeah, like crop that. When I go on a location, I'm photographing hundreds of places. And for me, I have to envision what that certain place is gonna look like for our story. Oh my gosh, this was the key gem in Creed. 
and they had this big workout station that we had to take out. And this is what I could have showed them all along. If I just had that gone. Oh, magic eraser. Yes. Oh, wow. That is not the right period car, so let's get rid of that. So I can present this as a 1950s space. Game changer. Ooh, so integral and so important to have a blank canvas, to have the creative conversations. And I think anyone should be able to do that. And I think they should be able to do it on the spot. Because oh, wow. once you start using that muscle of seeing past something, you're going to do it a lot. And then you're going to see the world and the creative. And I think that it's a great tool. I know I'm going to use it. <laughs> Here's a problem everyone has seen before. You go to take a picture, but the lighting isn't great and the subject is moving around. You can't quite get the perfect photo. It's a little blurry. Here's the same scene with and without our new face unblur feature. Normally this great moment would be a blurry throwaway photo. There's too much motion and not enough light. It's a physics problem that Tensor's on-device machine learning can solve. Let's talk about what's happening here. Before you even take a picture, the Pixel camera is using face SSD to figure out if there are faces in the scene. If they're blurry, it spins up a second camera so it's primed and ready to go when you tap the shutter button. In that moment, Pixel 6 takes two images simultaneously, one from the ultra-wide camera and one from the main. The main image uses a normal exposure to reduce noise, and the ultra-wide uses a faster exposure that minimizes blur. Machine learning fuses the sharper face from the ultra-wide with the low noise shot from the main camera to get the best of both into the image. As a last step, Pixel Camera takes one final look to see if there's any remaining blur in the fused image, estimates the level and direction of the blur, and then removes it for you. In all, it takes four machine learning models combining data from two cameras to deliver the scene you know you saw, but couldn't get from your camera until now, with face on blur. So most of the time, we want to eliminate blurriness from our pictures. But sometimes a bit of blur can actually add to the picture, especially for action shots that don't seem to have much action. Pixel 6 introduces motion mode, which brings a professional look to your nature scenes, urban photos, or even a night out. Typically, you'd create these effects with panning and long exposures, techniques that require fancy equipment and lots of practice. Motion mode makes it easy. For action shots like this one, the Pixel camera takes several photos and combines them, using on-device machine learning and computational photography to identify the subject of the photo, figure out what's moving, and add aesthetic blur to the background. For a nature shot like this, the camera applies computational photography and ML to align multiple frames, determine motion vectors, and interpolate intermediate frames that are blurred so you get this silky smooth waterfall. That sounds hard, but watch how easy this is. Nothing captures the energy of New York like a fast-moving subway train. With motion mode, just wait on the subway platform for the right moment, snap a photo of your friend, and you have a vibrant, artistic photo to remember this moment. Now we know that not every picture is taken in the Pixel Camera app. Some of these new camera capabilities and image quality improvements extend to any app that uses the camera, including your favorite camera apps. Here's Snap founder and CEO, Evan Spiegel, to tell you more. Hey, I'm Evan. The camera was once a tool for documenting important life moments. Today, people use the Snapchat camera for so much more as a platform for self-expression, creativity, and visual communication with friends. For Snapchatters, speed really matters. Billions of snaps are created every day, and our community wants to be ready to snap everyday moments as they happen. That's why we are always working on new ways to help Snapchatters get to our camera as quickly and easily as possible. We're excited to announce today that we are partnering with Google on a Pixel 6 feature called Quick Tap to Snap. This Pixel First feature puts the Snap camera directly into the lock screen for fast and easy access to the Snapchat camera. Just tap the back of your phone twice and you're into the camera. This new feature is a speedy and simple gesture that will help our community snap more moments before they disappear. We've designed QuickTap to launch into camera-only mode so Snapchatters can create snaps even if they haven't yet unlocked their device. Once you make a great snap that you want to share, simply authenticate on your device to unlock the full app experience. 
With Quick Tap to Snap, Pixel 6 will be the fastest phone to make a snap. And we're also working with Google on exclusive augmented reality lenses and bringing other key Pixel features like live translation directly into the chat feature on Snapchat. Snapchatters can talk to their friends in more than 10 languages and conversations will be translated in real time. These are the first features coming to Snapchat on Pixel 6 and we can't wait to bring more innovation to our community with our partners at Google.